Okay, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your boy Rogers, a multiple scholarship winner, currently a doctor in South Korea. So today we are going to be talking about the Green Climate Fund, and I'm very excited to, you know, talk about this um, NGO, which is pretty huge. So let's get um straight to the point. Yeah, so today we are going to be talking about the Green Climate Fund, which is, um, you know, a very big um, NGO as a non-government um, organization current in Korea, which is out to help a couple of developing countries to achieve the Paris, the green, uh, the, the Paris agreement to, you know, to mitigate climate change. So, um, this NGO at the moment, they are currently receiving, um, they are currently receiving, or uh, at the moment, they are currently receiving applications. So, um, I'm here to talk about this uh, particular NGO. I'll, in fact, let's look at um, the couple of, you know, the. Let's look at a couple of consultation and jobs which they have launched because it's twenty twenty one. So I all the time always check on the website, and I just found out that they are currently having um a couple of, you know. Just hold on for a moment. I need to be sure what I'm doing here. It's right. I need to be sure. Okay, let's get back to it. So we're gonna be talking about the Green Climate Fund. Like I said before, it's an NGO with headquarters in Korea, in Chun, and they are out to serve or to help developing countries fulfill the green climate, um, agreement which was signed in Paris um, some years back. So this uh, NGO has a couple of projects which they do have and they do give out like jobs or recruit people from, uh, by abroad I mean people who are not in Korea to come to work with them, fulfill a couple of uh, assignments or you can work from the country wherever you are like through uh, a consultancy or uh, consultancy job. So let's get straight forward to it. So if you get to the Green Climate Fund, um, you get to the couple of jobs that they are currently having now. You see, there are right now we are in 2021. They are having a couple of consultancy jobs, international jobs. You know, by consultancy is you can do it. You can do the job. You can do the job either in wherever you are and then you submit the results or by the international jobs, you have to come right to Korea in order for you to fulfill the assignment which has been, you know, um, given to you. So um, we're going to look at them, what criteria or what are the kind of candidates they look forward to working with. Um, I came across Green Climate Fund because I have uh, my master's degrees in climate change and development studies. So I'm, I remember back in uh, when I was doing my coursework at um, during my PhD level, I was looking forward to um, a current uh, project, or I was looking forward to um, you know to I do either internship for an organization or whatever. So I came across a green climate fund. I didn't know that this is pretty huge. And a couple of uh, colleagues of mine, some of them have worked with it and they have gained a very good experience. And, you know, a lot of people are coming to work with Green Climate Fund in Korea and they're really, really enjoying it. So let's first of all, look at the first one. Um, this now is currently receiving applications with a deadline to, with a deadline to end in August. So, Let's look at it. Uh, for example, you have the uh, consultant's job. Let's look at the consultant job for the Secretary of Appeals Community. So 
if you look at a job, it's a the website is well structured. You know, their website has been well structured in such a way that you send your you can send your application website. online. You do not need to hello Hungary. Thank you very much. You do not need to go uh, send your documents to anyone. This website is well structured. You create an account and you send all your documents. So this one is Secretary of Appeals Community, uh, Committee, and the deadline is in August. So they are currently receiving applications right now. So usually, I first of all go to the, the desirable or, or what are the criteria or what are the kind of um, students they are looking for. So the ID student should be someone with a minimum of seven years of professional experience in the field of international administrative law so if you've studied law in school first of all this is a good one for you if you've studied law that's a uh, first of all good news for you law secondly seven years working professional working experience a lot of people get to shy away from this when they see seven years your years of um not doing internships um working after school with all of that, you can sum that up to half seven. But if you don't have, if you have five years of, um, five, six years of working or so, I think you can probably contact them. There's an email down and you find out from them as well to be sure that you are in for, or your kind of candidate you're looking for or not. Even though they say if somebody has minimum uh, professional experience, it's good sometimes to, Yes, Hungary. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, Hungary says his uh, graduate school is preparing jobs for international friends around the world. Yeah, Hungary, send me an email through uh, winequamentorship at gmail.com. Let's talk about that. So the duration of the consultancy, the duration will be for two years with possible renewal depending on your performance. And you know, and the the uh, remuneration for the secretary shall be, you know, calculated based on the working day basis. So, uh, and you have, you can have between, you can handle between three to five cases per year. So people from the field of law, you're welcome to apply for this. And if you have a strong command, yes, Yes. Oh, thank you, Hungary. So if you have a strong command of studying um, English, if your English proficiency level is pretty good, or if you study at an English speaking or university and you're not a native speaker, I think maybe if you can provide um, IELTS or TOEFL um, scores, that will increase your chances. That will increase your chances of being selected. Hungary, thank you. Make sure you subscribe, brother, and share. Then the desirable uh, uh, established maintenance of AC registration cases. So now they're currently receiving applications. So if you're the kind of candidate and you look forward to working with the Green Climate Fund, you're welcome to apply. And the host country is South Korea, Incheon. Korea is very safe, very good, good uh, internet network, good people, good food, good culture. So um, I think if uh, you're looking forward to a very calm, relaxed place to work, you're welcome to apply to this job as soon as possible because you're currently receiving the applications now. So now let's go back and look at um, look at the consultancy job. No, not this one. Let's look at um, this one, consultancy job with the deadline. Okay, this one, they need a resource mobilization consultant. Yeah, let's look at this one. The deadline is 3rd of August, so there is still time for anyone watching or if you know anyone is interested to uh, to apply, should apply as soon as possible. So let's go down again to the criteria. If you have a master degree level in climate policy, like for example, development policy, international finance, like had it been, I just did my, because I have a climate, um, I did my master degree in climate change and development studies then you can apply for this one and the working experience again is seven years so from bachelor degree right up to probably doctorate degree now 
And you know, we all, you can all bear with me that when you're doing your master's and doctorate, it's somehow like professional working. So you can provide that for those who, and then sum up that for your seven year working experience. So those are the kind of candidates they're looking for. They're looking for, and if you need to be fluent in English, it's very important. And another UN language. So if you have uh, probably French, it's welcome or Italian. You can apply for this. That's a bonus for you. So you should apply for it as soon as possible. And the duties, well, the duties you support in development and engagement plan to mobilize resources, uh, authentic resources. So it's a consultant job and the role and the position is based at the headquarters in Incheon, Korea for six months. It's a six month six months position so uh, make sure you apply or let anybody who has that qualification to be aware that there is a job like this for him or her to apply to and again you know the green climate fund is really uh, a good uh, you're going to find a wide network of people coming from all over the world to work uh with this and it's really really good um organization and by the way disclaimer i'm just providing information here so i'm i'm not receiving applications so if you need to apply then i'm going to attach this official link where you can uh send your applications after this to whosoever you're sending and it's free applications are free you pay money to no one yes nobody and let's look at another consultant job with um here there is absolutely no deadline so i'm sure with this one once they the the candidate they are looking forward is um you know um gotten they're gonna start looking for it but you should apply as soon as possible so call for international sector experts to support in funding uh Proposals. So I think your main job here will be helping the development of proposals. So it's really a good one. And, you know, experience developing financial and economy analysis of project. So if you have probably from an economic field, this one is a good one for you. Let's look at the kind of uh, candidates you're looking forward to working with in this one. There's also forest. If you're uh, forest and land use, I did my, for example, in my case, I did my master's in climate change. I worked with, uh, my research was on land use and forests. So this is a pretty good one. It really fits what I work with. And also we read, which is aimed at um, reducing emission from um, developing countries and then for restoration. So this is basically for um, it. So people from, uh Wondogenet, uh Hawassa University, Wondogenet in Ethiopia, College of Forestry, you're welcome to apply for this. This is a good one for you. So um and the application um let's look at um here. Yeah, so under this one, there are different like here. There are experts, ecosystem and ecosystem service is a really good one too. Wow, this is pretty exciting. Agriculture and food security, a good one too. So, wow, the, the fuel, this is really, really a good one. Like, you know, it really falls into, let me go back. Yeah, minimum requirements, true. This is a good one. You see, these are the minimum requirements. So if you have worked in these, for example, in your master degree thesis, and you have publications on this, this you really stand a very good chance uh, you know, for this particular case. So you should, you know, I encourage you to apply or make sure you do share with anyone who you know is graduating from school at the moment or is expected to graduate in school now. Please do share this with them as soon as possible because there are people who you know they're just graduating from school and they they are not you know they are not uh, aware of such opportunities so please share with them as soon as possible so that they can apply 
and then get to work in these um, amazing projects because um, the Green Climate Fund is looking forward to candidates of this nature. And one more thing about the Green Climate Fund is that there is no, there's absolutely no discrimination. They do not discriminate in any way possible. They do not discriminate in any way possible. So anyone who is um, qualified for it will be selected as soon as possible and will have an amazing experience working in this with these um people so let's look at the application and selection procedure interested should submit your express you need to submit your cv of course your your, your curriculum detail which you state where you school your working experience a cover letter exp uh, explaining um what are your 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 talents and all of that and by the way i've made a video there is one video on my youtube channel go to youtube and check on dr wine Kwan mentorship you're gonna see uh, a video on how to write the distinguish between cover letter and motivation letter and i have plans on doing another tutorials on how to write cover letters and cv so you should check that out as well and also um I'm going to be running another tutorial on how to write CVs because these are things which uh, requires you to have some level of expertise or to have some, you know, some basic skills on how to, on how to go about these. And um, and it's I'll be doing that basically for free. So all you got to do is to subscribe to Dr. Wanko Mentorship and sign up. Or uh, those who want to reach out to me. My email address is winequamentorship at gmail.com. Send me an email. I'll be ready to receive you or get back to you as soon as possible. And the expert that will be selected, it, the selection is open, transparent, transparent, and it's very competitive. So make sure you take your time, you write your cover letter well. One more thing is, even if you have a first class degree, if you do not explain why you need to be selected in a good, appropriate and polite manner, you might not be um, accepted. Or if you do not apply for it, you will never know if you're the candidate they are looking forward to. So what are you waiting for? Just click um, on, go to the official website, which I'm gonna attach um, it on the description box in my YouTube channel once I'm done. <laughs> for those that are interested to see how you can apply for it. So let's just try, for example, if I wanna apply on this, I click on application, apply now. So let's see where it takes me to. First of all, when you click on that, you need to create uh, your email address and then you, you sign in for those that already like have an account, you sign in for those that don't, do not have an account, you have to create one. You create your account, you log in, and you can fill your application and get back to it at any time you want. So make sure you do check that as soon as possible. And again, on Green Climate Forum, there are also internships. There are also internships for students or people who are currently in school, but there, currently uh, there are no internships at the moment or no current, uh, Intentions because probably because um corona um, sorry because of the ongoing sorry because of the ongoing uh what the world is facing now we um internships are a little bit limited but the green climate fund sometimes offers internships which is very good for you to sign that up and it's you know they try to have uh, encourage experts from all over the world be it developed countries or developing countries, south south countries, no one has an upper advantage over the other person. So make sure you do apply and check that out as soon as possible. And for the international jobs, like I already mentioned, there are a couple of them, so many ongoing now, and you even have some with deadline right up to September. Yes, September. 
So there are also looking forward to people who are into ITC. So if you're an ITC person, internet person, green climate form, need your expertise. So you should apply as soon as possible and get to join me in Korea. And let's do it. So um, if you have a master degree or equivalent advanced degree in uh, information technology, business administration, or a bachelor degree and experience of two years, you should apply for this position as soon as possible. So if you've been able to watch up to this extent, if you've been able to watch up to this extent, and wait a minute, if you've been able to watch up to this extent and you love what I am doing, make sure you click our on the subscription um, bell and stay connected because I'm going to be sharing more and more information with you all. Um, so today I was talking about to sum it up. This was today uh, stream today was about the Green Climate Forum. Like I said, it's an NGO in Korea which is out to help developing countries to achieve the the Paris uh, Paris Agreement to sort out climate change globally so they are recruiting a lot of experts um bid for international jobs or consultancy jobs your expertise is all welcome and all you got to do is you apply through the green climate form website official website which i'm going to attach on the description box of uh, uh dr wankwa mentorship youtube channel I'm going to attach that so you have to check so again uh if this is your first time on my channel if you're watching from youtube make sure you click on the subscription button if you're watching on facebook make sure you go to dr wankwa mentorship on youtube click on the subscription button and check i have a couple of videos there on um, vacancies that currently apply um vacancies currently advertised on the by the way let me let me share my channel with you let me share that let's see let's go share screen yeah yeah so let's go to let me show you on youtube go to dr one comment let me show you a couple of videos before i run out this video uh yeah let's go to my channel yes my channel Let's go right away. So on my channel, if you see, I have a video which I just did on the World Bank Group African Fellowship. Make sure you check on that. Um, they are currently receiving applications. If you're also into academia and you want to get into academia, postdoctorate positions, you're looking forward to PhD inside career. There is also a video on that. And um, they are currently receiving applications also for the world bank and also there's a video on government scholarships in europe full and also a video on um how to apply for full scholarships in africa and there are so many other videos you can check that out all you got to do is to subscribe hit on the subscription button or subscription bell and stay um connected just stay connected it's free it's free so thank you very much if you've been watching. This has been your boy, Dr. Roger. See you again tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about more scholarships. I'm going to get back into full scholarships in, in Canada. I'm also going to be looking at postdoctorate positions, which are currently receiving applications now in Australia. So make sure you check on that. Share the good news with everyone. Thanks and peace out.